This is Gabe Lorenzo for a lot of sports talk here with Scarlet and Gray with a 81-56 victory in the Midwest Championship of the basketball tournament here in Long Island University. Here with one-time NBA player Jared Seliger. Jared, congratulations on the win. Now, two victories away from $2 million. How does it feel? It feels great, man. Honestly, we just trying to get the job done and just understand that we got to play like a team. The more you play like a team in this tournament, the better because you can't win this game one-on-one. -on -one. Everybody has defensive schemes. Everybody has offensive schemes. So you got to come in here and understand that practice is going, is going to help you out throughout this tournament. Yeah, in the second half, it was in 29-24, both teams going back and forth. But you start off on a 12-2 run. What was the adjustment made at halftime that led you going to run? We got stuck on the elevator. That's what happened. We got stuck on the elevator. We stayed warm. And, and all of a sudden, we just we played our ass off, man. We just I like this team. We play hard, and we're going to play smart. And we, we know how to play. Everybody will lay down for a shot. We don't mind about what, who takes bad shots, who does this. We believe in our team. You said you were on the elevator. How'd you get off? You said what? You said you were on the elevator. How'd you get off? Oh, man, all of a sudden just started started up after like five to six minutes. But, you know, we stayed warm. It was real warm in there. Yeah, now also for your team, great game on the boards. Points in the paint, 40-plus for you. Starting with you, 15 points, eight rebounds. Like, how, how do you take advantage? How much does that have to do with mismatches and you taking advantage of it? Oh, man, we're just rebounding the ball. If you rebound the ball, I think I think we won every every round uh, by rebounding the ball. At rebounding the ball, that's the biggest thing. That it limits transition defense. It, li it limits transition offense, I mean, for both sides of us. And so the more and more we rebound the ball, the better we're going to be. Now you're playing in the semifinals now in the basketball tournament here with the with the um, Scarlet and Gray, excuse me. How does it feel to play with former players? And how much does that have to do with your performance out on the court? Oh, man, uh, we love it. We love playing with the former players just because we've been playing since 2007 when they stepped on campus, Evan Turner, John Diebler, and all those guys. So we just we just love it. We enjoy it. One-time NBA player here in New York. And this is in Madison Square Garden. This is in Barclays. But how does it feel to play here in yeah, New York I City? New York. I love New York because my mom's from New York. My mom's from Brooklyn. Yeah? So, yeah, my mom's from Brooklyn, so I always do it for my mom when, when I come come to New York. To come visit. Congratulations, Jared Seliger, and congratulations on the next month. Appreciate it.